India up against Spain. India cruised through their pool. Three wins from three. Spain had it a little bit harder. One win, a loss and a draw. You know, the fans just conserving the energy ahead of the blockbuster fixture between India and Spain. We've been treated to some fantastic hockey here throughout the tournament so far. And today has been no exception whatsoever. It's really lifted a gear today. And there have been some brilliant quarterfinals all within a couple of goals. And we had a shootout to start things earlier today. And this one promises to be a ripper as well. India have found goal scoring form and Spain have been as crafty as ever. A really tricky opponent does present itself for India to try and dismantle here to get themselves into a semi-final of the tournament. Not far away from welcoming the superstars of the tournament out onto the pitch here in Lucknow. And here they do come, Spain in the red and yellow, India in their blue shirts. Now can India get themselves into the semi-final as they look to repeat the efforts of the 2001 team who won in Hobart? That was the only time India have won the tournament. For Spain, their best finish was in 2005 when they finished third. We welcome our dignitary for this evening's match. Sri Pata Sati Sen Sharma, IAS Secretary to Chief Minister, Government of Uttar Pradesh, escorted by Miss Elena Norman, CEO of Hockey India. And they greet the two captains, Harjit Singh and Gonzalez de Castillon. We're set here, almost ready for the final quarter-final of the Uttar Pradesh Hockey Junior World Cup Men Lucknow 2016. Before, though, we welcome the anthems of Spain and India. <laughs> Huge applause as expected for India and also for Spain from the hearty crowd here in Lucknow ahead of this quarter final number four. Spain have worked their way through the pool stages really well. Gritty draw against New Zealand got them into the quarterfinals. And they've got an interesting lineup. They're really well led by Gonzalez de Castillon and Enrique Gonzalez de Castillon, their captain. And it's with pleasure I welcome. Alongside me here this evening, Solomon Kasuji, Soli, welcome to you. Spain, they've got the job done. They need to lift here against India. Huge task ahead of them again tonight. But they've shown they're equally adept at that. 
the road to the quarterfinals been peppered with tough games. Spain against Germany. They really had Germany on the ropes for a little bit. But Germany finally managed to get over the top, 2-1. Demolition of Japan and a 3-3 draw with New Zealand. That saw them come through and break the New Zealand hearts. Best finish, third at the event. They really focused on getting the job done here tonight. Look at the Indian side here. Will Harendra Singh, the man with the plan, seemed fairly confident in the hotel this morning. Well, he's got every reason to be. They've been really good through the pool stages. They're well led by Harjeet, number 21, their captain. They open with a 4-0 win against Canada. Pretty routine from them there. And then 5-3 against England. They were cruising at 5-1. England able to get a couple of late goals and well that South Africa game maybe that was the wake up they needed they were really pushed by a decent South Africa side and I'm biased this evening Yu Su Long from China and he'll be joined by David Sweetman from Scotland as we count down to a start here in this quarter final David Sweetman blows the whistle and Spain get us underway. They look to push straight away. Enrique Gonzalez de Castillon was charging down onto the aerial ball. And India almost had reason to be worried. He was incredibly quick, that lad. But there's another stat that works in favour of India. 82 circle entries at this event so far. That 32 shots on goal. That's a huge number. Way more than any other team at the Uttar Pradesh Hockey Junior World Cup for men in Lucknow, 2016. Arendra Singh, Indian coach, smiling as per usual. Yeah, he's very passionate about his job, isn't he? Loves being involved with this under-21 side, and he's done a terrific job. He's well supported here by senior coach Roland Holtmans, also Roger Van Ghent indicative of just how seriously a lot of these countries are taking the under 21 tournament these young men are the future of the sport but for this 70 minutes it's not about the future it's about right now in spain win the ball back serahima working with bolto serahima up against garinda garinda lays a decent challenge as spain's coach roger Palarols. Watch this side grind it out here in the tournament. That 3 3 draw against New Zealand was heart stopping, but it got them here. And now look to put it right up to one of the tournament fancies in India. Stopped New Zealand hearts, but kept the Spanish hearts pumping. Something India will have to be really wary about tonight is looking for those contests. Can't be running the ball onto Spanish defence. Ball comes through full kindly for India. And Parvinda was waiting. Varun goes back to Parvinda. Parvinda along the baseline for India. Long corner for the host country. And Parvinda's been very productive without a huge amount of reward for his strong effort. India going back to the linchpins of the defence. Dipshan and Harman Preet. And the line, Varun Kumar towards the deep. There's Armand Qureshi. They'd love a little extra spark from him. He was saying a couple of days ago he feels he's got a lot more to provide. He's been good in patches but he'd love to be able to lift a gear and feels he can. Here's Gonzalez de Castillon for Spain. Inside, went down the line, Bolto. Has it pushed away? Bolto over the top, aerial ball. Blue shirts waiting for it. Shin brings it down. Goes through Harjeet outside for Nilakanta Sharma. India down that outer side. Here is Qureshi, a huge talent, plays it into the D. Parvinda looking for Mandeep Singh. And India win a penalty corner within the first four minutes. It's an incredible bit of play by India. Something that they've worked really hard at is playing this give and go style of hockey, shifting the ball. Trap and pass. Keep the defence moving. And they've just opened up Spain with two diagonal passes. First one was out of the back to the left. Second one from the left to 
in the top of the circle. Just reward. Right attack. Have to be really careful here, will they? Because India have not yet fired pretty well from penalty corners. They want to get off to a winning start. And a tough end to do it from as well. Bobbled. As it got to Haji, they've struggled teams at this end of the pitch. Armand Qureshi able to poke it towards goal. Perez not tested. But this end of the pitch, Sully, has provided some real issues for the teams. Certainly has. Another mistrap at the top. The reason why it's bobbling is there's a lump right at the top. And as clear as day, you can see it from up here. It's even more pronounced when you're down at the pitch. And all these guys have to do is just offset to the left or right of that lump and they'll be fine. I think it's the home side, you'd know that. They often say, if you find a lump, you should get it checked out. Teams getting to know the lump at that end of the pitch. Gonzalez de Castillon for Spain. Without doubt, their strongest performer here at the tournament. Led them so well. Five minutes gone, nil-nil is the score. Spain into the deep. Deflected high and over Vikas Dahiya's bar. A bit going on inside the attacking circle. Gonzalez to Castillon plays it all the way back. Now with Perea. Looking with Perion and Dipshan. Tidy touch for India. Gonna come back for Spain. Alto. And Gonzalez de Castillon working towards the corners. They go back to the safety of Perea. Inside for Torres. Back to Perea. Roving ball up towards the attacking quarter. Dipshan again. Another intercept. Haji, India's captain, outside with Parvinda. Parvinda up against the couple. Haji in support. Well, it's been a lively start on the pitch, no doubt also in the stands. Let's head down to Munish Jolly, who's got some friends with him. Well, then it's so much fun sitting with the fans, and especially when they've come out in numbers for the first time in the stadium. They watch hockey on the television, but I have somebody, first time in the stadium. How's the experience? It's exciting, really exciting. What about you? You've been cheering for India. Yeah, of course, we will always cheer for India. It's the first match we're here. Okay, what's the best thing you see about the Indian team? The unity, of course. Just look at the way they're playing. What about you? What do you fancy? India's going to win? Of course! And all of you, let's shout for India. Yeah! Thank you, Munish, and to the wonderful fans here in Lucknow. Enjoying the tournament. They'll enjoy this India uh, into the day. Simranjit battling hard. He had support from Ajit Pandey. Albert Perez just camped himself down on his backside. India win another penalty quarter. Nice work from Ajit Pandey, and he receives some high fives. India's fans with a huge amount to celebrate. Spanish defence caught napping, leaving a free striker in behind. A real ball over the top has got them, resulting scramble of play that came from it getting into a penalty corner for India so on the first chance unable to trap the ball and no decent shot on goal Harman Preet at the first battery Varun Kumar at the second they've both got a pair of goals in this tournament neither of them find a third Decent trap, Varun Kumar shoots and it's brilliantly saved by Albert Perez in Spain's goal. Well taken by Kumar, well saved by Perez. Varun goes back into the deep, Hatchet can't handle it. Spain survive. Certainly do. It's a tremendous save, but he's also got a postman. He's hiding in behind. Double security. They've read that one pretty well, have Spain. Very wary of Varun's whip. He's had a great tournament, Spain's goalkeeper Perez. It's with Serahima. Serahima charging towards the D for, uh, for Spain. Now Bolto down to the baseline and rolls dead under pressure from Harman Preet. 
an interested observer. There's a lot to take in. India already with two penalty corners. And only three from 18 now in the tournament. India from penalty corners. I'm sure that young fan will be keen to get involved from the set piece when he's able to take the field. India having converted only three of the penalty corners so far in this tournament for those who didn't hear the first time. Just reiterating that point and it's something that they'll need to work on pretty hard. They want to be successful in this. Up for Spain. Here's an opportunity. Well worked by Lara and well defended. Vikram Jeet works it all the way into the corners. Finds the experienced head of Harman Preet. But it's been a familiar tale in this tournament. They've been struggling from penalty corners. Way down on usual numbers. We were talking in commentary earlier in the day, Solly, that usually you'd take 30% here. It's down around that 18 to 20. And Spain themselves, 2 from 12 in the tournament, that's 17%. So it's a widespread issue for all of the teams. Yeah, for some reason, they're definitely all struggling on the surface, and especially the circle to the right of our commentary position. We've spoken about there is that little lump. Not sure if one of the workmen's left his hammer underneath. Very difficult to flatten it out from there. And something that they've all just got to deal with. They're playing on the same pitch. And it is a great little venue here, the Major Jan Chan Stadium in Lucknow. It's something they've just got to come to terms with. Certainly do. All you've got to do is just offset, move the penalty corner battery, left to right. Take it. Simple. Here's Diabat for Spain. Bordasi Fabregas scored a really tidy goal earlier in the pool stages. Sumit Kumar, or Sumit rather, goes for Ajit. Ajit playing with Sumit. Sumit, wonderful stick control from Sumit. Yeah, there's keen observers, passionate hockey supporters here in the state of Uttar Pradesh and travelling from afar. Gentlemen, love their hockey. All the way across from the UK. Go to pretty much every event. This one flashed in dangerously. Goes across all the way. Nobody gets in the end of it. Goes out for a sideline free hit. Finally, we see some Spanish supporters. Making sure that we stay neutral and balanced. We love a bit of balance. Here through the coverage. Enrique Gonzalez to Castillon working his way on the outer side of his opposing skipper. Gonzalez to Castillon working with Bordas y Fabregas. Bordas y Fabregas into the attacking circle for Spain. Santa Singh plays with Hajit. Hajit back to safety on the sideline. And have it. It's the one shot in this one so far, and it came from India from a penalty corner. It was well handled by Albert Perez, Spain's goalkeeper. He started every game for Spain in the tournament. Into the D, Spain come again. Garinda watches it like a hawk and plays it to safety. Spain will get the long corner. 22 and a half minutes remaining in the opening. 35 minutes. India with the better of the chances. But they've been awake to Spain's challenge and they've had a couple of decent probing runs towards their attacking area. Dipshan Turkey. Strong ball across for Harman Preet. Harman Preet. Over for Varun. India looking for a spot in the semi finals to join Belgium, Germany and Australia who were winners earlier today. The winner of this match will take on Australia. So a big challenge awaits, but the challenge that they're focused on right now is Spain if they're India and India if they're Spain. Santa Singh works it in for Mandeep who can't control the ball. Mandeep always deadly. Mandeep, one of the key target men for India, just not able to control it, that ball getting the better of him. 
good ball played in. He got to the outside of his defender pretty well. I expect him to control those nine times out of ten. Ajit, India's captain, an experienced senior representative as well. Plays with Varun. Well handled by Diabado for Spain. Goes outside for Bordasi Fabregas. Spain trying to work their way through India's defence. Garcia Alcalde, nothing against the few. Now he takes them on again, drops it back for his captain. Gonzalez to Castillon. He yapped up by Mandeep. Here is Spain's skipper. Takes on three and loses out on this occasion. Good Sharma plays it for Santa Singh. Santa Singh for Parvinda, who can't bring in the ball. Runs out of play. Good vision from India and some strong flag waving in the crowd as well. Terrific work, young man. Santa just getting a little bit too much on this. Needed to be slightly weighted. Parvinda. Too late behind it, the ball was well past him by that stage. He needs stuck his stick out. Good to see India accelerating to get the ball to the open side. Not trying to look for the contest in amongst the crowded defense. This will be a real arm battle, arm wrestle, sorry. India will have to work hard to get over the top tonight. They should get over the top, they've got the bigger guns. But they'll be kept honest. Spain, very disciplined in defense do have the potential to sting you with a counter-attack. And you're looking to mount one here. Gonzalez to Castillon. Has a man goal side, but he cuts back in. Spain will retain possession. Bolto calling for a ball. This Harman Preet, how much India would love for him to be firing from the set piece. Torres whips it in for Spain. Deflection into the goal, but not touched by an attacking player. So no goal for Spain. It was not touched at all inside the attacking circle. It remain nil-nil. Spain working it back. Sully, you were talking about India having the bigger guns. Already five circle entries for them with that cagey and well-organized Spanish defense, keeping them to just the two shots and one on target. India have enjoyed a huge amount of circle entries, as you've touched on in this tournament, but they need to make the most of them. Yeah, for me, the problem with them is they're just attacking the circle at such pace. As they're approaching the circle, they just need to slow down a little bit. Get some balance, get your head up, make better decisions. So as you enter the circle, you can be more lethal. You get into the circle, you're still going at 100 miles an hour and your head's down. You can't see anything. You make panic decisions. You generally run yourself too flat to the baseline and give yourself bad angles. You won't be able to do too much of it. That's just something they can work on. Halfway through the opening term. India nil, Spain nil. Wonderful insight into the happenings on the pitch from Solomon Kasuji. As Pavinda. Last his pass intercepted. Spain. And possession. No, they don't. It's touched by India. So. Rantares, two balls on the pitch. Yu Sulong, keeping a watchful eye on proceeding. So too Harendra Singh, India's under-21 coach. Now with Parilla for Spain. In defence with Torres. Worked up towards Bolto for Spain. The rest. India's defense. Sumit. Left side for Varun. Varun goes for Nilakanta Sharma. Up against Serahima. Decides to play it back. Sumit. Good ball across for Dipshan. Transferring play. They go back to Sumit. Just working Spain around. Varun Kumar in towards the deep. He's a little bit off with the pass. Nice turn from Torres. Really accomplished performer in Spain's defense. Now with Torres. Gonzalez to Castillon. Working with Pierre Grau. 
India. They had plenty of goals at the end of their stick through the pool stages. They had a 4-0 win, a 5-3 win, and a 2-1 win. They're being held in check to start this one by Spain. It's the fourth of four quarterfinals at the Uttar Pradesh Hockey Junior World Cup Men Lucknow 2016. And a spot in the semi-finals against Australia awaits the winner. Spain's best finish in this tournament was third in 2005. India, they were champions in 2001. Here they are with Gurinder. Plays it back for Dipshan. India being patient. Trying to find that option that they like up towards the D. But Spain have set up well. India are trying to stretch them. Dipshan goes to Sumit. Had a few touches through this area of the pitch and he takes Spain on. Sumit goes for Gurdjian. Spanish pressure. Able to defuse India's charge. Good bit of play by Sumit. Carry is strong. Good. Gurdjian just trying to peel back in behind. Defence was sliding, which is the right idea to come back inside. Just wasn't able to get a stick on it and control it, but India crashing across. As a touch goes out over the sideline, on the right hand side of the pitch. So India enjoying new circle entries. Spain. They've only had 36 circle entries in the tournament to India's 82 coming in. So that number tells a tale. Spain averaging six shots a game. But 14 of Spain's 18 shots in the pool stages were on target. So when they do manufacture a chance, usually they're in a good position to test their opposing goalkeeper. Haven't managed a shot as yet. And looking for shot number one, Bolto has it. Bolto with support from Perion. Bolto into the circle and a penalty corner for Spain. They don't get too many opportunities, but when they do, they make them count to the Spaniards. A tidy bit of work into the deep. Mark Bolto again. Pictures of the first game against Germany where he carried strong. That looked as though it came off his knee slightly. I knew, saying just for the previous tackle. Two from 12. Spain are in penalty corners for the tournament. 17% they're striking at. We have Torres at the top of the D. So to Perea. It's Perea who shoots and Perea scores for Spain. Spain strike first blood against India in their quarter final. Perea started all three pool games. He started this one as well and he put Spain 1 0 up. Tremendous conversion here for Spain. See this injection come out, well trapped. Just whipped around. Little touch just inside the right post by Mark Sarahima. Sneaky little one, They're spotted. The right postman runs out a little bit too far. Vikram Jit Singh, the guilty party, not getting on the inside of his man on the right post. They've awarded the goal to Paul Perea, but we think it's come off number five, Mark Sarahima got the touch just in front of the goalkeeper yeah originally some wonderful work from Perea thought he might have done the damage but it does look like Sirahima got that touch and beat Vikash Dahia hard for Dahia when Sirahima gets such a solid touch Gonzalez de Castillon's working with Bolto Gonzalez de Castillon goes back in to fetch the ball they're playing a lone hand through the middle Manfred. So, just confirming that goal. The official words come through for Perea. It 
looked like Sarah Hema got a touch, so we'll wait to hear the official ruling. Doesn't matter who scored it at this point, though. Spain lead India 1-0, and India, for the first time in the tournament, they need to chase the game. Well, they were tested against South Africa. 2-1, they did win. See what they're made of here this evening, this India under-21 side. Santa Singh looking to get things going. Smashes it into the D. The deflection comes from Mandeep Singh. No goal has been scored. Free hit was awarded inside the attacking circle. 25. Before the ball can be played into the circle, it has to move five metres. You can see this one was just touched about a metre and a half and then crashed in. That's why it's no goal. India undone through some ill discipline by Santa Singh. He's given the umpire a pat on the arm. He's about to get a pat on the side of the, the ear. So, can India find the level up? They've been searching for Spain. Scored from the penalty corner. Spain have started brightly. It's with Lara. confirmation Mark Serahima has been credited with the opening goal wonderful deflection from Serahima after a really decent piece of work from Paul Perea Spain leading 1-0 Parvinda crashes into Perion a little bit harsh there which is pretty good tackle first and then the body contact Nine minutes remain in the opening half. Spain won, India nil. They've only won one game so far in the tournament, Spain. That was against Japan, 4-1. They drew against New Zealand to get themselves through, qualifying second in pool C with a superior goal difference to New Zealand. Borasi Fabregas has it taken away by Harman Preet. You can hear the fans roar here at the major Jan Chan Stadium in Lucknow. A healthy crowd in attendance, and they'd love to see their side go through to the semi-finals. They're chasing the game, and Harjeet plays it for Simranjeet. Dispossessed. Spain. Working for Salvador. Spain hand the ball back to India. Harman Preet. Nice darting towards the attacking zone. That's a good ball out for Simranjit. Simranjit brings it down, plays it into the D. There's nobody home. Manpreet Jr. got the touch. There's nobody waiting at that right post. As Harendra Singh just settles things down on the bench. Simranjit. There's it for Manpreet. Now India in unfamiliar territory, trailing 1-0. The pool stage is pretty much on their terms. Solely, they've got their work cut out for them. What do they need to do here? They're creating some really good attacking opportunities. They're getting to the top of the attacking 23rd, and Spain are just flooding back and sticking two free men in behind. And that were able to isolate the ball carrier, leaving India with four or five players free around the back. And they just need to send one or two of those free players through the lines and keep one of those three men that Spain have got occupied so that they can't set up the double defences. I think one-on-one -on -one across the park, India have got the skill and the pace to beat Spain. But if they allow them to play with three men and screens, the first defender is just going to force the skill execution, and the second defender is going to sweep in to pick up the loose possession. His expert comments, courtesy of Solomon Kasuji. South Africa International, Spain dictating things at this present moment. Six and a half minutes remain, here is why they lead 1-0. There you get the touch, just inside the right post. 
can see it from the side. There it is. Faintest of touches. Mark Sarahima celebrates in style. With the ball that puts India under the cosh. Nice work by Diabadal for Spain. They come back at India once more. Lara crashes it into the D. Almost another deflection for Spain and almost a 2 0 lead. Vikas Jahia in India's goal was wise to the challenge, but almost caught flat footed. Ball crashed across. The Indian defensive line's flat. The Spanish striker arriving late on the far post, totally unmarked. Almost got the chocolates. Place in the semi finals awaits the winner. And that will be played tomorrow. Tomorrow, both semi finals are being played here at the Uttar Pradesh Hockey Junior World Cup Men Lucknow 2016. And the final two days later on Sunday evening. My ST. Can Spain hold on or find further goals? Or do India have a come from behind win in them? Piera Grau. Down into the corner, well read by Varun. Takes it away in front of Garcia Alcalde and Dipshan. Plays it to the outer side. Manpreet working with Nilakanta Sharma. Nice lead coming from Ajit Pandey. Decent dribble. Puente throws his body into things. Gonna need to come back. The ball wasn't in the position of the foul. Four and a half minutes remain in the opening half, and Spain really have been up and about. 1-0 they lead in India. They've had the sting taken out of their game. And they find it again, Varun's ball. Hopeful, more than anything. In the corner, Arman Preet. That's for Varun. Again, Spain get the touch. Arman Preet. This time he goes into the D himself. India had options in front of goal. Nobody able to manufacture a chance, and they'll have to retreat. Spain with the ball. Got his eyes up. Made a connection on the inside. Good ball in. It's onto the Indian foot from Davidal. Vital touch from him on the reverse stick. Skipper. He's been tremendous, but he's had his pocket picked. A good from Ajit. Gets it back from Nilakanta Sharma. Ajit Pandey working with Manpreet. Three minutes remaining in the opening half for India to find a leveller. 11 goals they've scored in the tournament so far. Varun. For the safety of his vice captain Dipshan. And has Sumit provided some lively runs. Sumit smashes it in to the D. No touch inside the attacking circle. No goal. It remains Spain 1, India 0. It's a little bit better by India. They've sent numbers forward, occupied those defenders in the one on one. They'll always have the pace to get around the outside. All delivered well. Just not able to find players on the posts. Grant Hopkins gritting his teeth. Feeling the pain nearly as much as he did when he was run out in the friendly cricket match the other day by Cody Tribe, the strength and conditioning coach. What contribution did he make on the scoreboard, Solly? I'm told it's a big fat zero, Will. Yeah, they had a star versus players cricket match and Roland Altman's run out for a duck. Hopefully, India, for their sake, don't end up with a duck on the score sheet here. They trail 1 0. Arman Qureshi into the attacking quarter. 23 meter zone. Here's Gurjant. Told it's a good thing Cody's been doing a good job with their strength and conditioning program. He's been credited with the performance that these athletes have been delivering. If not, 
and he'd run the coach out. He might have found himself on the next plane home. Back to New South Wales and Australia. And from the non-striker's end, making all the calls, and doing a great job off the pitch. Spain, a minute away from taking a 1-0 lead into the sheds. Set a him up, scoring from the penalty corner. It's Roger Palarols watching on. He'd be pleased with what he's seen from his side in the opening 34 minutes. Gonzalez de Castillon, strong performer as always. Sarah Hema plays it back for Torres. The India chant rings around the stadium, and Simranjit has the ball. The Abadal looking to get involved for Spain. Blue shirts now coming in. Nilakanta Sharma looking for Mandeep Gajant, assume it rather. Hassling, Marion, and Spain able to survive the latest chart from India. It was a good one. India slowing forward. I think he should have just stayed on the inside of his man there. Don't pull it to the outside. He had him beat. Just knocked the ball forward. There's been one defender eliminated. A little bit of ping pong. Spain equal to the challenge. A yeah, nice touch from Torres. Spain set up really well in defence and they'll take a 1-0 lead into the change rooms at half-time. Really strong work from Spain and they've silenced at times this India faithful crowd. Mandeep Singh with a couple of chances but nothing doing. Spain shocking the hosts in the opening 35 and at half-time they lead one to India's nil.
I tell you what, when Mark Sarahama struck that penalty corner, the entire crowd was stunned, but there was somebody who was shouting so loud, the Spanish fans with me. Hello, how are you? Uh, very good. How did you feel about that goal? Well, it was a, a short corner that like we scored, and India now is in a problem for me because it's they have the pressure to win. It's a jam-packed stadium here. Yeah, it's fantastic and atmosphere. And it's only eight of you. But we shout louder than you. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been shouting well. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think? Uh, is Spain uh, going to defend this lead? Well, uh, the second half will be a difficult time for us because India will go under pressure for us and we have to defend very hard and to believe in our, uh, in our four, four to strong for winning the match. But we are there. I tell you, there are a couple of ladies, they've been shouting so loud for Spain. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Sorry? I'm just asking, how are you? Very well. And you'd be shouting so loud. Can you show us that chair once again? Once again? Okay, once, again. once again. Shout for Spain. Plenty to cheer for for Spain. Lovely work, Mordish. I tell you what, the chant is for Spain, but they'll have to match the loud Indian crowd as well. Yeah. Yeah, very nicely done, Mordish. Down there with some very happy Spanish fans, and understandably so. Mark Sarahima putting them 1 0 up via the penalty corner. India started well, they had a penalty corner of their own, they were unable to trap it successfully, and then not much of a chance whatsoever. It is tricky down that end, sides have been struggling, so that'll be for Spain to deal with in the second half. Naman Qureshi, some nice moments, and India's fans watching on, hoping they could be 1-0 up. Here was Varun's shot, it was almost through. Albert Perez in Spain's goal, doing a very good job to keep this out. Well taken from Varun. Great save from Albert Perez. Full stretch, saved it with the stick, and again, India were denied. Varun Kumar thought he had goal number three of the tournament. And Spain down the other end. Penalty corner, it looked for all intents and purposes to be Perea, but sneaky work from Sarah Hema in front, gets a deflection and beats Vikas Dahia. Really well taken by Spain. Watch this touch from Sarah Hema. Right in front, here he comes, stick down, gets the deflection. Dahia saw it but couldn't do much about it, and Mark Sarah Hema gets his second goal of the tournament. Gave Spain a two. A 1-0 lead, rather. And you thought they might have had a shot here. Man, deep, wonderful connection. Uh, didn't move the ball five yards. So, fairly cagey first half come the finish for India. And they're chasing the game after Spain opened with Sarahima's goal. Santa Singh, earning the eye of the umpire. And Spain kept pushing. Almost another deflection. Vikesh Dahia. Saw it coming, and almost nothing he could do about this one either. Really nice ball coming in from, from Jan Lara. And Spain's bench know how close they were to a 2-0 advantage. It's almost a full house here at the major Jun Chun Stadium in Lucknow. Plenty of pictures being taken of their home side, India, who are 1-0 down at halftime and are looking for a place in the semi-finals. Australia awaits the winner of this one, the fourth and final quarter-final of the Uttar Pradesh Hockey Junior World Cup Men Lucknow 2016. Possession very even. Spain just shading India. India with more circle entries. One shot on target for both two teams and it's the one shot on target for Spain that counts. They lead 1-0 to half-time. One from one, penalty corners as well. India naught from two. The crowd counts us down and Mandeep Singh gets us back underway, plays it back for his captain Harjeet and India in their blue shirts. Played around in defence. Two halves of 35 minutes, the format being played. As India go over the top, Harman Preet was looking for Varun. Can't bring the ball down. 
here will take it from the sideline. Spain, an aerial ball of their own. 1 0. How will they play? Will they sit back, defend stoutly, and then look to damage India on the counter? Certainly a method they've favoured throughout the tournament and one they've executed well. Are they worried about India's weapons? So much so. And out keen just to sit back and let them come at them. Here's Harjeet. Nice poke check from Spain. Really good work in defence from John Torres. Plays it into Harjeet's foot. Solomon Kasuji alongside me in commentary. And Soli, 1-0. Decent spot for Spain to come into the second half at. Really good spot for them. And they come forward strong here, the captain. Ball dangerously up. Yeah, India, there's some questions being asked of them tonight. I think Hajit's certainly been found out just a little bit at centre half. He's been looking for too many contests, trying to run the ball through the midfield. Had his pocket picked way too many times. His team just needs him to settle down and get some distribution going, especially through that midfield. Control the, the structure, control the pace of the game through the midfield. At the moment, they're looking to do all that through their back four. And Spain are punishing them. Harjit had such a good game against South Africa in their final pool game. They had to work hard for that one and ground out a 2-1 win. Prior to that, India beat England 5-3 and they opened the tournament with a 4-0 win. So they certainly do have goals in them. But they're in an unusual position where they are chasing the game. Dipshan. With Harman Preet. Harman Preet crashes it into the D. Good defence from Spain. Strong work from Perea. Umpire you indicating there's a stick tackle. Spain build it out. India with a very aggressive press. Very well organised. Ball just coming off the foot of Parvinda. Half time, Sully. Harendra Singh has a great rapport with his players what do you think his message might have been for them his message would have been exactly that set some more phases of play up in the attack the third don't be so channel bound make a few more leads across channels manipulate the spanish defensive lines here's the captain again he's got a turn of pace beats down the baseline Scramble, three hit out. Lukash Daya giving his defence a bit of curry. Not at all happy with the sloppy defence. They've been isolated and being tested for pace, beaten all round. It's going to be a strong challenge for them to match the pace of these Spanish strikers. They're a real confidence team. Our India. How much do you think the coaching staff needed to focus on just keeping them upbeat at half time, making sure that they do come out and be positive, not drop their heads and worry about having to score a couple of goals to get themselves into that semi final? Yeah, focusing on scoring goals is not really going to work. And we've got a very emotional team, we've just got to maintain the focus on the process, manage those emotions, manage the energy to be used in a positive fashion. Which is playing good hockey. He comes Armand Qureshi down towards Mandeep. He's a real live wire in the attacking areas. Mandeep Singh playing it along the baseline. Well defended by Spain. Long corner for India. And you can see Perea keeping a very watchful eye on Mandeep. Gonzalez to Castillon. Up against Dipshan Turkey. Here's Dipshan. Plays ball into Torres, well handled, and Torres just clears it all the way down the other end of the pitch. I think just a few more of the Indian strikers need to come to the party tonight. Dipshan copying one on the side of the head. Collection from the skipper. Very nasty position. Ringy's bells. 
but uh, at the moment it really only looks like Mandip is one of the striker that's got the ability to do anything to punish Spain. Hande not really featuring. Corvinda looks as though he's done for pace. The Spanish defender's too quick for him. Always just jumping in front. I'd like to see possibly someone like Dips on Turkey in center mid position. Distributing a bit more. He's had a terrific tournament in defence, Dipshan Turkey, vice captain of the side and 18 years of age. These are the moments for these young men to stand tall, stamp their authority all over the showpiece event for hockey at this level. Varun Kumar has a couple of goals and this man, Harman Preet, has a couple. They're their set-piece specialists. Harman Preet, well, if he starts to fire... They become a much more dangerous side. Here is Varun. Goes back to Dipshan. Now Harman Preet. Almost seven minutes played in this second half. India still with just two shots on goal for the entire game. Averaging 11 shots a game. In the tournament, India, and seven of those 11 on target. So they've been good at manufacturing decent scoring chances as well. They need to find a few here. Strong defence again from Spain. Perea read it well. Up against Gurjan to now Manpreet and Perea. Controlling the ball. Thumbs up to the umpire. Thumbs up from the bench for him as well. He managed to get a wide shot of that build-up play by India. You see just how narrow they were. All pretty much in that right channel. So even if they wanted to, they couldn't have transferred the ball to the open side of the pitch. Makes it really easy for Spain to close them down and just defend one on one because you're effectively compacting the defense for them. You try and stretch them across the width of the field and down the length of the field. And you're just being caught into running the ball at the defense, which is exactly what Spain want. Well, here's Gurjant. Playing it back for Varun. They're looking to transfer play right to left and now back to the right. Here's Harman Preet. Dipshun harassed by Gonzalez de Castillon, Spain's captain. They need to be careful around him. He has huge amounts of speed. Down they go. Here's Manpreet. Manpreet in towards the D. Timely touch from Torres. And out of there D comes to Yabadal. He takes on five blue shirt, wins out. Gonzalez de Castillon, similarly. Look at him weave his way through pretty much the entire India team. They really don't have an answer for him, do they? That's probably the one discipline that might well let India down tonight, that individual one-on-one -on -one defense. They've certainly got the attacking prowess, but the defending ability is a bit skeptical. Now we're about to find out just how much India has to throw at Spain. Possession is even. Circle entries favours India. Shots basically even. A real arm wrestle this one. India are locked in the battle of their tournament so far. Harman Preet plays it back. There it is. Right down the middle. Here's Harjeet. Good ball, into the D, India go, save. Manpreet, shot on goal, saved again. India looking for the level up. Gajant has it taken away by Torres. Far better. Hajit shifting the ball, sucked the defenders in. Ball fell kindly. Just the angle, not that good for the shot. Easy for the Spanish goalkeeper. They get a long corner. Now just build sustained phases of pressure. That's what they need to do. Waiting for a ball. Time called. And now we get two of them. London buses. And they wait all day for one. And then when it arrives, there are two behind it. From the ball boys on the far side of the pitch. Has a fine cricket arm. Ball manager, I believe we're going with these days, Sully. Sensational. 
everybody has to have a title these days well the responsibility they wear is significant and they do a great job and as Dipshan goes outside for Harman Preet and India back in to the circle that attacking circle where the business gets done Harman Preet nice work from Harman Preet in to Simranjit controls it well Simranjit towards the goal mouth well saved by Perez but a penalty corner as a result India with a chance to level things and what better way than from a penalty corner that's what happens when you have sustained pressure ball played in to the seven yard box down the baseline ball keeper clears it falling backwards he's raised it dangerously into a crowded circle penalty corner to India that fella's pumped well if they score the Dutch fans next to him might be running for cover Perez has been huge he'll be called upon here again Harman Preet and Varun Kuma poised for India Harman Preet shoots Perez saves Simran Jeet on the rebound can't get a follow-up shot it's bobbling around Harjeet has it another penalty corner tidy work from India Spain did a good job to keep them out but they'll have to do it again Heart in mouth moments for Spain, living on the edge. Goalkeeper saves this by falling backwards, panels it back into the middle. Just couldn't quite get the control on it. Good enough to get a, another penalty corner. As we get ready, we're about to go here. Again, Harman Preet and Varun Santa brings it in. Manpreet can't trap it. Varun brings it back in. Haji tries to redirect it on goal. Spain survive. They maintain their 1-0 advantage. India naught from three from penalty corners. We have to say the bane of their penalty corners to this tournament. Trapper was moving, trying to run into the circle before he'd even trapped the ball. Make sure you do your first job right. Trap it first. And you worry about anything else. But Hajid as well. Also with a rush of blood to the head. Need more composure from your skipper. 22 and a half minutes remain. India. Trying to win the tournament on home soil. Hajit was there four years ago in Delhi. And India finished 10th. How he loved to lead his side to glory here in Lucknow. India go down the outer side. Great defending from Borassi Fabregas for Spain and releases Piera Grau. Works well with Bolto. And Bolto from the sidelines for Spain. Three of 20 from penalty corners for India so far in the tournament. Spain came in two from 12. They're now three from 13. Here's Qureshi. Loses his footing. Sarah Hima was there in defence. Dipshan, wise to the danger, coming fast behind him. Harman Preet, decent ball into the deep. Mandeep did well to control it, but the pressure was right on him. They will stay on his shoulder all night. Patrick Evan of the match awards for Mandeep. Does he have something special? The ball was intended for Mandeep. He's good, not quite that good. I think it's the right idea to try and target him on that post up, but you want men running off his shoulder. Both left and right. Not great panic in amongst the Spanish defence. At the moment, Mandeep's the guy that's got to trap it in the post up, then spin to try and find passing options to his fellow strikers. There's just not enough off ball work to support him. His midfield is too far away from him, and his other strikers are hiding behind defenders. Few nerves at times as well for India. It is a big crowd here at the major Janchan Stadium in Lucknow. And the majority of it wants to see them succeed. Spain though, playing the role of the destroyers, the underdogs. Looking to dismantle India's charge. Here's Gonzalez de Castillon, captain of the under 21 side and an experienced senior representative. He, let, well, he took them 
to bronze at the Youth Olympic Games in 2014 in Nanjing. He'd love to take them into the finals. Spain in defence. Over the top. India's ball. Interesting little set of numbers, Will. Head to head. At junior level. Four to Spain, two to India. So, with one more. So India will be looking to undo that record, get one back. There's a 4 3. Well, there's a reason you are paid the big bucks, Solly. That's a great stat. And a nice representation of Spain's talents at this level. Narendra Singh has his work cut out for him. Roland Altman's here alongside him. Nice trap from Haji. That's better from India. They've struggled at times with the basic skills. Spain, so dogged, so determined. Gonzalez to Castillon. Weaving his way through blue shirts, treating them like parking cones. Exactly what we were speaking about in that last one. It was a really good moment where this ball was stolen. It was a bit of skill from Gonzalez de Castillon. Five, six. Keep counting. We'll keep doing it all night long. The minute India won that possession higher up, Arman Qureshi went hiding behind the defender. Wasn't able to receive a return pass. That's why they can't launch, launch any attacks. Deep within their defensive area. All over the top. Dipshan Turkey just looks to get it out of there. Hopeful from India. It's worked out all right. An error from Spain. Serahima couldn't handle. India. Simranjit. Vilakanta Sharma waxing with Vikramjit. The safety of Santa Singh. Garinda. Outside for Harman Freak. Is this his stage? Ball into the D! And a deflection coming from Nila Kanta Sharma. Oh, it could take a moment of brilliance such as this. Harman Preet with terrific vision. It's a really good ball across. Nila Kanta Sharma just a little bit too far away from the goals. To play a deflection ball. This is always going to go wide. Momentum would have carried it wide. It was a really good ball in. He needed to trap that one. It goes for Garinda. One thing we can be sure of is India will keep on working hard all the way to the final whistle. It's the new India, the 2016 India in this under-21 side is as fit as any in the world. Their strength and conditioning is world-class. Terrific athletes. They need to start executing on their skills. Another missed trap. And just adding to the woes. Fans cheering that on. The good thing about the local fans, though, is that they will applaud good hockey. Whether Spain is playing the good hockey or India, they'll just enjoy the spectacle. Really good sportsman. Shots on goal. India 7 to 1 of Spain. Spain lead 1 0. And they've had a purple patch of late as well, India. 12 circle entries to Spain sport. Five of those coming in the previous six minutes. Now some great stats coming through from our hard-working team behind the scenes. 13 missed traps from India. Eight for Spain, so they haven't been perfect either. Gonzalez to Castillon. There'd be none on his name. Another captain's performance from him. Torres for Spain. 15 and a half minutes away from a berth in the semi-finals are Spain. Well handled by Varun Kumar in defence. And Haji, the captain. They love his leadership and what he brings on the pitch and off it. He watches on, wondering how to get them over the line. Santa Singh. Up for Gurjant. Gurjant taking it to the outer side. Down the line he goes. Smashes it. 
into Mark Perrion, who's gone down in a heap. He looks in quite a bit of pain. Mark Perrion, we hope he's okay. Ball into the back of the leg, right into the hamstring, maybe. Perrion thinks just to the outside, yep, the butt cheek. It's a little bit of a stinger, the sniper's got him. This weather, kind of smart for a little bit. These boys are tough. It always hurts a little bit less when you're leading at 1-0. Here's Harmon Preet. Going for a little bit of a run. The pass was a touch pedestrian and Spain are able to turn the ball over. Harmon Preet though, butters up and does well. He needs a stick. Now he's got it. Harmon Preet. Plays it for Varun. They've waxed well. Varun's ball into the D, an error from Spain and a penalty corner for India. On this occasion, the hopeful ball pays off from India and Harendra Singh watches on. He'll have to issue the instructions for the set piece. They've got another crack. Ball played in by Varun. I think it's Paul Paria. Is it? No, it is number 13, which is Laurent Vieira Grau. He makes the error. Results in the penalty corner. Missed the trap. Came up onto his body. India, this is huge. They need a result from this one. Yeah, Varun and Harman Preet. Surprise, surprise, are at the top of the D. Wait for the roar if they can score. Simranjit brings it in. The shot comes. Perez again is saving it. It's worked in by Simranjit. India are level. Simranjit scores his second goal of the tournament, and India are right back into this quarter final. What a sensational goal for India. My goodness, hasn't this game just come alive? Mandeep, he's keen to get off the bench and get back on the paddock. The crowds go absolutely berserk. We're almost at full house here. This ball. Played in, mistrap at the top. Strike comes in, bounces up off the goalkeeper. And paddled home. Simranjit. Johnny on the spot. Good finish. Look at that. You don't often see Harendra Singh with the fist pumps going. The hugs. He's generally pretty well balanced. Shows you how much this one means to them. And I reckon if they're were 11 of India's players on the bench at that moment. Harendra would have found a way to give every single one of them a hug at once. They're back into the attacking circle. Our India, the crowd riding every moment. Pavinda smashes it back in. Spain survive. After leading for so long, they are on level terms. We've also got to give credit to umpire Yu. He's had a lot of work to do in the last 10 or 15 minutes. Just been calm, collected, made some really good decisions. Varun under pressure, careless. Time's called. Umpire, you spotted something. He wants to have a word. And the Spanish players got a green card. Keep an eye on that. So a few frustrations for Spain. It looks like Bolto. Yeah. Mark Bolto it is. Here's Gonzalez to Castillon. They'll need his leadership and his exquisite skills. Spain. They'll play right to the end as well. They scored in the 69th minute against New Zealand to earn their spot in the quarterfinals. Stout defending from India. Come again, Varun Kumar getting set. Strong work from Rodriguez for Spain. Smashes it towards the D. Varun Kumar gets in the way. Here comes Rodriguez. Serahima, the goal scorer for Spain. Is there in a hurry, Spain? He's showing great urgency. 11 minutes remaining. Gonzalez de Castillon. 
Taking on four, this time Harman Preet. Forced the issue and wins the ball for India. Harman Preet. Plays it with Manpreet. India now a chance to go for a little canter. Use their exquisite speed. It's with Parvinda. He has runners in support all over the turf. Mandeep was one. Nice lead from him, and now he takes them on Mandeep. Down the baseline for India, into the deep. Torres. Good discipline from him. Have another look at this goal. Penalty corner, mistrapped. The push is a bit off. The hit comes in, played in, off the goalkeeper. Pumps up. Look at that. Man deep. And the coach, Harendra Singh. Feeling the love. Yeah, it's great to see the passion from Harendra Singh. He loves his job and loves being involved in the sport of hockey. And Brett Jr. Been involved in some nice passages of play. And Spain turn it over. Harman Preet down for Armand Qureshi. He's got plenty of speed. Armand Qureshi in towards the D. Numbers with Spain. They break it down. Tarez works his way out. Nilakanta Sharma getting involved for India. It's with Rodriguez for Spain. Good stick work from him. Finds Bolto. Ah, nice from Spain. Bolto up against Harman Preet. It's out of play for Gonzalez de Castillon. to Qureshi's foot. Bolto goes for a little run. Spain through Serahima. Spain into the attacking circle. Garcia Alcalde looking to manufacture something. Garinda for Harman Preet and out of play. End to end stuff at the moment. The game is on the line. A spot in the semi-finals of the Uttar Pradesh Hockey Junior World Cup Men at Lucknow 2016 is here for the taking. Will it be India or will it be Spain? We're nine minutes away from an answer. Or will there be a shootout? We had one in an earlier quarterfinal. Wouldn't the fans love that if India could get there in the shootout? We've certainly had it all today. We the shootout this morning. Heartbreaker in the second game. The bruising encounter in the third game. And played in but goes over for a long corner this one the heart stopper end to end there'll be some tired boys after this Spain come forward through the skipper down the left channel tries to play into the middle the Indian defence there sticks getting tangled India start quickly down the left they come through Ajit Pande, links up with Pavinda. Spanish defence equal to the task. Stolen again. India have it. Just a rush of blood to the head. And some words exchanged here. There are plenty going on in the conference with David Sweetman. Arvinda on the bench, Harendra just calming it down. They need to keep those emotions in check, both sides. They just start again at 1 1. Right in this, Santa Singh plays for Gurjan. Gurjan into the attacking area. It's whipped across India. Varun Kuma, a nice 360. India looking for the penalty corner and winning it. High fives all around. Really nice work from India and a chance to take the lead. They've been forced to come from behind, and they're at the right end for the penalty corners. Spanish defenders having a conference with umpire U. I think that's a perfectly good call. Nothing wrong with that. Now Barulun and Harman Freed, the set piece specialists for India Perez in goal will he be called upon India one of five from penalty corners this evening they're set at the top of the deep Santa Singh brings it in Harman Preet shoots and it's saved by Perez he's been monumental and he denies India again certainly is another strong save 
India come away, should get another penalty corner here. The advantage is played on, they miss out. Here we go, penalty corner. Blown by the off-ball umpire. David Sweetman from Scotland, assisting umpire Yu Su Long. Really good teamwork between the two umpires. Here we go. Ball played up. Body. There you go. This one panelled away. But you must admit, India really need to have a think about their penalty corners. If it's not working off the direct flick, they need to look for some options, deflections. In and around that penalty spot area, on the posts, a spin, something. They'll find a way to win. India, Varun Kumar shoots, Perez again saves, Diabadal clears it. India need to find an answer, because at the moment, Perez is keeping the gate shut. Harjit can't get his stick free. Perez boots it across, and he's conceded a penalty corner for just clearing it straight across the defensive line. Diabadal's outraged. Look at him fired up the Spanish passion. Diabadal needs to compose himself. Perez as well. Roland Altmans is going nuts on the bench. They need to just get back to it because it will be a penalty corner. Has made his decision. Here you go. Ball's played in. Yep. Clear penalty corner in my book. So do India finally have an answer from a penalty corner? Is this the moment that puts them into the semi-final? Harman Preet shoots and Harman Preet puts them one foot into the semi-finals. The fans are right behind the India under-21 side. And they are 2-1 up. Harman Preet finally delivers from the penalty corner this evening. India 2, Spain 1. Finally, Haman Preet gets hold of one. Really difficult area for the goalkeeper underneath the armpit. Pretty much impossible to close that space. This is just pace, short pace. They've got this one past the goalkeeper. Not much he could have done there. A couple of chest pumps going on. India have the lead. What drama will. Yes, yeah, sets us up for the final three and three quarter minutes. India looking for more. They're looking for insurance. They lead by one. Parvinda in towards the deep. Spain, after taking the lead, now need to find a late level of themselves. India can't rest. Spain scored in the 69th minute against New Zealand in their final pool game to get themselves into the quarterfinals. Harman Preet. Goes down the line. Harman Preet looking for options in the D. He'll go it alone. Harman Preet plays it into the foot and wins India a penalty corner. Cometh the hour, cometh the man, and Harman Preet is leading them towards the semi finals. Harman Preet Singh down the baseline into the foot. Wonderful, wonderful experience play from Harman Preet. He travelled to Rio with the senior team, Harman Preet. And here he is helping the under-21 side deliver. The crowd are going absolutely wild for their heroes here. Parvinda injects the ball back in. This time it's Varun who shoots. And Spain holds them out. Spain have two minutes 19 seconds down the right flank Spain come Garcia Alcalde looking for his captain Gonzalez to Castillon Harman Preet for all of that experience scoops it over the top here's Santa Singh goes for Mandeep Mandeep battles well needed to be good Tarez was looking to run away with it we're within the final two minutes. India, ten shots on target to Spain's one. They've had all of the chances of late. 
and Spain look like they are going to replace their goalkeeper with a kicking back. Looks like there's a yellow card awarded to someone. Well, if Perez comes from the pitch, it allows Spain that extra outfield player, but he has been just about their best. He's faced 13 shots as Spain's goalkeeper, Albert Perez, and he's kept most of those out. Arman Qureshi has earned himself a yellow card. So India playing with a man down for the final minute and, a, and three quarters. Harjit has it. Plays it down, looking for Mandeep. It was an important touch from Spain. There's nobody in their goal. Armand Qureshi off the pitch. So Spain effectively are playing 11 to 9. Spain, the kicking fullback. A minute 25 remains. Hajit intercepts it. A captain's effort. Here's Mandeep. Nose time is on India's side. Manpreet Jr. goes to Mandeep. Mandeep seeing around the right flank. Hajit poised at the top of the goal. Mandeep up against a couple. India are looking good. A minute remaining. Spain looking for a leveller. Roland Altman to Rendra Singh riding every pass. Harman Preet. Remains India's ball. Here's Harman Preet. India so strong through the pool stages. They've been really tested here this evening by Spain, who will play right to the final whistle. India can't go to sleep. Gonzalez de Castillon for Spain. Probing ball. Unable to be brought down and controlled. 20 seconds remain. The crowd here at the Major Jan Chan Stadium in Lucknow are on their feet. They are willing India to the final whistle. Pierre Agrao from the sidelines for Spain. Five seconds remain. Gonzalez to Castillon. Spain are into the deep. Garcia Alcalde up against Dipshan Turkey. And India have won. India have overcome a huge amount of adversity here in the quarterfinal against Spain. 2-1 the final score and India are into the semi-finals of the Uttar Pradesh Hockey Junior World Cup Men Lucknow 2016. You can see what it means to them. Harman Preet throwing his stick away. He was the man that got the game winner. India at full time two, beat Spain one, and they are into the semi finals. Well, Solly, what a finish. Spain were leading 1 0. India found the leveler through Simranji in the 57th minute, and then Harman Preet breaking Spain's heart in the closing stages and delighting all of India's supporters. You'd have to say sustained period of pressure by India right towards the end. Certainly were the brighter of the two sides for the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so. Spain, heartbroken. They've thrown everything at this. They really did well. There was certainly a lot of fire in this game. Harman Preet, the heartbreaker. There's the coach, the coaching staff, Hoffmans and Harendra. Lots of love on the bench, and there are the celebrations. Ajit, the skipper, he is over moon with that win. And look at this. This is, this is what it's all about. It's what hockey does to the spectators and the community around them, and how well you connect as a team. And there are some dance moves there, straight out of the Soli Kasuji textbook. Great to see. The highlights of the match, it was Spain early. Really nice deflection from Sarahima. Great subtlety. Ball played in. Sarahima just getting on the inside of the defence in the form of Vikram Jit Singh. Just getting the faintest of touches. Not much. 
Vikas Daya could have done about that. Let down by his defender. Vikramji needed to get on the inside and prevent that deflection. But Spain took the lead early. India, not without their chances. This one crashed in, but illegally so. Ball had to move five metres before being played into the circle. Didn't move the required five. Goal didn't count. Free hit to Spain on this occasion. But what a finish by Mandeep. He's classed that boy. Another opportunity falling for India. But from that angle, good goalkeeper. He's able to finish a good bit of build-up. Albert Perez equal to the task. India, this is the goal that broke their hearts of the Spanish. Missed trap at the top. The injection pushed out a little bit too wide to the right. But well adjusted. Got the shot on target, bounced up off the goalkeeper. Lost art of a hit at a penalty corner. Not very often we see that anymore. Fine strike, ball bounced up just beautifully for Simranjit. And he paddled it home. That got everybody back on level terms. And there's the heartbreaker. Hammered home by Harman Preet, under the elbow, under the shoulder of Albert Perez. Not much he could have done there. Really, really difficult spot to defend. But this was sheer pace by Harman Preet. Gives the honours to India. Look at this. Fantastic. They know how important that is. Mandeep puffs out what little bit of a chest he does have. And spare a thought for Albert Perez, Spain's goalkeeper. He has been so good for them all tournament. Well, there's some finish, and let's head down to Munis Jolly, who has the presentation. What a splendid game of hockey we've witnessed. India and Spain played marvellous hockey at Major Dhyan Chand Stadium in Lucknow. What an electrifying moment. Lucknow, let's hear it out. Well then, the FIH would like to thank the sponsors, Hero Motor Corp Limited, Polytan Adidas and Love Baro as FIH Global Partner. And thank you to the host partner Lucknow and to the government of Uttar Pradesh for their presenting partnership of the Uttar Pradesh Hockey Junior World Cup Men Lucknow 2016. Our guest of honour today is Sri Parthasarthi Saint Sharma, Secretary to Chief Minister, Government of Uttar Pradesh. And he'll present the Man of the Match award to Harman Preet Singh of India. <laughs> Harman Preet, if we can just talk to you for a minute. Both Badia, Esa, Jo Mahol, Abne, Eka, second half Kili Bacha Kirakata. G. Ne, as you go, Badni, Maklo, Hamto Chate, starting Say a Chaki, or a Chap first uh, minute may go low, but uh, Koshish Kate, but. टीम ने मतलब काफी हार्ड वर्क किया इसलिए तो मेरे ख्याल से उसका रिजल्ट हमें मिल गया यार आपका जो विनिंग गोल था वो एक तरीके से तोहफा था इन सभी हॉकी फैंस के लिए जी यही कहूंगा कि हां चलो एक तो हमारा हार्ड वर्क ने हमारा साथ दिया है क्योंकि हम 2.5 साल से एक एक पूरी मतलब हार्ड वर्क कर रहे हैं अपनी टीम के लिए अपने देश के लिए सो एक प्राउड मोमेंट हो रही है कि इतना अच्छा हम जीते हैं अच्छा सभी खेले हैं मैं समझ सकता हूं आपकी आंख भरा रही है वो भाव करते हुए हम सबकी आंखें भर आई थी लेकिन अगला मैच कांटे का मुकाबला है सेमीफाइनल जी बिल्कुल मतलब ऐसा कोई मैच नहीं था जो इजी था मतलब कि स्टार्टिंग से हम यही मतलब टारगेट था अपना बेस्ट देना है जो प्लान है उसके हिसाब से खेलेंगे और अच्छा खेलेंगे और अच्छा रिजल्ट आएगा क्योंकि रिजल्ट के बारे में हम सोचते नहीं है बस अपना अच्छा खेलो 100% दोगे तो रिजल्ट हमेशा अच्छा ही आता है और हम यह भी पूछना चाहेंगे कि आप लोग अकेले नहीं थे आपके साथ कोई और भी खेल रहा था यह लखनऊ का क्राउड और पूरा हिंदुस्तान जी बिल्कुल मैं इनका तहे दिल से धन्यवाद करूंगा जिन्होंने इतनी सपोर्ट की हमको और हमारे लिए इतना मतलब जब हम खेलते थे इतना शोर मचाया इन्होंने अच्छे से मतलब हमको भी एक एनर्जी आती थी कि जब यह हमारे लिए बोलते थे और हमको भी लगता था कि हम भी उनकी ऑडियंस के लिए हम अच्छा करेंगे सो मैं कहूंगा थैंक यू सो मच ऑडियंस फॉर गिविंग सपोर्ट थैंक यू सो मच बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया हरमन प्रीत अपना ख्याल रखिए सेमीफाइनल के लिए बहुत सारी शुभकामनाएं एंड दैट्स ऑल वी हैव फ्रॉम द प्रेजेंटेशन अरीना
Moon is jolly, thank you. And thank you also to Harmer and Preet Singh, one of the stars of this India under 21 side and of world hockey. Not just the future, but right now. India pulled one out against Spain. 2-1, the eventual scoreline. 10 shots on target, 22 circle entries to Spain's six. And they ended up dominating the possession as well after it was level for most of the encounter. Two from nine at the penalty corner scenario. Spain one from one. But it was Harman Pritz, second of those two, that buried Spain's tournament and relegated them to playing off for the minor placings. India, though, remain alive. What a day of hockey we've seen here at the Ultra Pradesh Hockey Junior World Cup Men Luck Now 2016. Belgium beating Argentina in a shootout. Germany getting the better of England. Australia in a really physical battle against the Netherlands. And India, Spain, what a contest. And India, 2-1 winners. The show continues here in Lucknow tomorrow. We start the day with the 15th versus 16th place match between Egypt and Canada. Then the 13th versus 14th place match between Japan and Korea. We're looking forward to seeing both of those two matches, but this is what we're all waiting for, the semi-finals of the tournament. Belgium against Germany, that should be a high quality affair. And then Australia and India, well, we can't wait for that one either. 6 p.m. IST. Be sure not to miss either of those. India continue their march towards under 21 glory. You can see Roland Altmans and Harendra Singh marshalling the troops. A huge performance here this evening against Spain. India 2-1 winners and they march on to the semi-finals. <laughs>